Arm him up. Less than five. Go! Today we're gonna to make a little LED that can go onto any quad and attach at the battery leads. Now at the night spot when we're racing, we like to have LEDs on our quad. Here is a bit of LED race wire I have on one motor just to give myself a little bit of light up action. But last night at the night spot, I ended up killing two motors on this in a hard crash. So I had to switch to my other quad. Now this one I'm using heads up motors on this open racer. Uh, but as you can see, because of my MR30 quick connects, I don't have any LED race wire and I don't really have a great spot to mount a little LED on here because I'm using a big capacitor right here and I have my pigtail right here. I did see Cole have this really cool setup though that Don P cooked up for him and I'm gonna see if I can replicate what he did. And I noticed he had a little bit of a couple of XT60s, a male and a female and he had one of these tiny LED uh, lights. Now he actually had them on both sides of his, but I don't think that's necessary. And uh, I have one that's kind of pre-wired up for us with a little bit of heat shrink, and then we're gonna heat shrink around the top of it. Now first thing you want gonna wanna do is solder these together. Now you're gonna wanna have both flat sides together so that you have positive to positive, negative to negative. Now you should have something that looks like this, it should have a nice strong joint because we soldered it on both sides. Now if you can kind of see what's gonna happen here, we're gonna take our quad, so I'm gonna kind of have it like this. It's gonna plug in like this. So that means I really wanna put it on this side of the connection because the other side's gonna kind of face the battery. So that's how you're gonna determine which side you want it on. Now to help identify that side, I have a nice little burn mark here, so that'll make it easy um, as far as where I wanna do it. So it doesn't really matter which way you orientate this. I'm gonna kinda of have it like this. And then I'm gonna take these wires and I'm gonna solder it like that. And that's gonna be our connection to provide success. Now when you're doing this, make sure that you have an LED this is tiny as LEDs. I'll have the link for this in the bottom uh, that goes up to success. This goes three to success. So we're going to be plenty good here. So how are we actually going to attach this thing? I'm going to use some of this 3M 30 pound mounting tape. Just take, this is an FPV guys secret weapon. I use this to attach VTXs, receivers, and on my DJI builds, I actually use this stuff to mount Vistas instead of using screws, saves a couple of grams. And this stuff, uh, it can handle 30 pound. This is heavy, heavy duty stuff. So I'm going to take this, put it on the back of this heat shrinked uh, LED, stretch it out a little bit. Now we got good coverage and we're going to kind of put it right here on the edge. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a plus going actually. So you're going to want to put it this way because the positive is on this side so these leds have a positive and negative make sure you line that up correctly you're going to try to get it centered as much as possible now to get this to have a really nice strong bond you need to hold it tight for about 60 seconds so i'm going to hold this tight for a bit next thing i'm going to do is trim these wires to the right length so that i can solder them right here so this one's going to go kind of like this and this one is going to go like this. I'm going to strip these both up with my trusty fingernails. So if I ever have disgusting looking fingernails in my video, it's uh, not that I'm lazy. It's just that I got to keep a little bit of fingernail to be able to strip wires easily. Who needs a wire stripper when you have uh, built in wire strippers right here? Next, we're just going to 10 these little bits of wire. Now, if you don't have those nice helping hands like I was using earlier, you can always get by with a bit of uh, wall tack or tacky, sticky tack, 
whatever you want to call this stuff. It's really handy to also have a pair of these sort of locking tweezers. That really comes in handy for jobs like this. And we're just gonna solder that wire right there. Do the other side. So now you should have something that looks like this. And the only other thing we're gonna do is add some heat shrink all around this thing. So now let's test it out and compare. I'm gonna dim the lights real quick so that we can kind of compare these two LED options. Here's the LED race wire. And here is the contraption that we have just wired up. So let's plug it in here and let's plug it in here. This one is much, much brighter. Now I'll have visibility at the night spot when I want it. The heat shrink actually adds some diffusion and allows that light to really spread. And as you can see, it glows from pretty much all sides. And uh, when I'm flying kind of like at this angle, everyone's gonna be able to see this uh, from the side and the bottom. So it'll kind of be like that as I pass. By. So nice and bright guys. I'll have links to all the supplies if you want to build your own and uh, This is actually really nice because when I'm at the night spot I can run this little thing and when I'm flying during the day I can just do it like that and that's all there is to it Here's the finished product with the heat shrink applied one uh, the only other note I would is you got to remember to keep this side clear because your XT60 has to fit over it So I'd probably flip this around and have the wires up here that way Because uh, now I do have a little bit of extra, but it should be fine I'll probably make a couple of these just so I got a spare or if anybody is at the nice spot and they don't have an LED I can hand them one and all of a sudden we can all see each other around the track much much easier. Thanks guys.